Good morning. Deacon Brian here again. Well, got your cup of coffee? We got a busy week this week here. Very busy. It's Holy Week. So yesterday was Palm Sunday. The week before that, we had Lazarus come out, come out. And we're being called to come out, right? And again, so now we step into this, this, this Holy Week. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now make note, this is, this 21 chapters in John. Half the book is all about the Passion, basically. And the Last Supper and the Passion and what's going on, what's going to be happening this week. So John must think that that's pretty, pretty important. So here we are in chapter 12 of 21 chapters. So take a deep breath and follow the story. I want you to be Mary. Remember, her brother Lazarus was raised from the dead. Now they're having a big party. Six days before the Passover of Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, for whom Jesus had been raised from the dead, They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was the one of those reclining at the table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made of genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with fragrance of oil. Then Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, and the one who had betrayed him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep this day for my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, to whom he raised from the dead. And the chief priest plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews we're turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is a time to prepare, okay? Mary gets it, who Jesus is, the resurrection and the life. We found that out, you know, on Jesus' journey to see Lazarus raised from the dead. We saw that gospel a week ago yesterday. Now, we're called into this. Palm Sunday was yesterday. Now we get to go into the Tridium. You know, we, we get to connect on Holy Thursday. You know, you know, the readings will be on the washing of the feet. But, but we, we celebrate this Eucharist. I mean, this breaking of the bread. That we get heaven on earth every Mass for each and every one of us. So, but then they'll do the washing of the feet. Who do we need to forgive in our life? Are there others that have wounded us? Have we judged God unfairly? Or do we need to forgive ourselves? Sometimes it's the most hardest one. Then the next day, Good Friday, he goes to the cross for us. He dies for all of our sins, all of our illnesses, physical and emotional. All that's taken to the cross. It's in the Word of God. All is taken so that we can be set free and be driven into an intimate relationship. It's a powerful, powerful day to meditate on the cross of Jesus. Meditate on his wounds and what he has done for you. So, on the following day we have the Easter Vigil and then Easter on Sunday. Then we get to celebrate this resurrection, this life. You know, the tomb is empty. We don't need to hold on to all this stuff, this chaos in our life. We don't need to hold on to it any longer. 
we could be set free from the chains that hold us in bondage. And this cross is the doorway to doing that. So throughout the week here, pay attention to every day. Be drawn into a more intimate embrace with God, knowing that the tomb is empty and where we're heading because he is the resurrection and the life. And allow that light of that resurrection to come into us. And spend time on this, meditating this week, so that that perfumed oil can radiate in your life out of you from a re relationship and guide others from your intimacy you pull others into intimacy with God. And that's what Mary did at the feet. And then she, with her hair, she wiped his feet dry. It's a very humble time. We need to step into that humility. Stop all the control stuff. Step into humility. Because you're desiring a face-to-face -face relationship with him. So in leaving you, enjoy this week. This is what it's all about. Every Mass, we celebrate this. So go to this intimate embrace. See what the Lord wants to guide you to during this Holy Week. As I say, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May our mighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life, and have a great Holy Week. Get to know him even more. He wants to know you.